Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2018. So I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go on New Year's. So I figured I would film a year-end favorites. And this for me is going to be things I personally discovered and was turned on to in 2017. Not old favorites that I've loved forever, but things that were new to me this year and I fell in love with this year and became staples for me. I would love to hear what your favorites are and of course, disclaimer, for those of you who are used to my older videos and still not used to my new content, this is all beauty related. So without further ado, let's get into my favorites of 2017. And by the way, this is a new tripod and this angle is weird and we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> So for body, I uh, just did hands. I am a dog groomer, so my hands get really dry and nasty. And I discovered this hand cream by Jack Black this year. It is the Industrial Strength Hand Healer. And it is so amazing. I am not allergic to it. It's so soothing, so healing. I love it, it's a favorite. And then, for nails, which as you can see, I haven't done my nails yet, um, but it's KL polish all the way. It dries so fast. It is so chip resistant. Like I will wear it to work for a solid week before it chips. These are just three of the purples that I have. I have a ton of colors because I love the formula that much. I have Mindy, Mozart, and Zoe right here. And uh, I mean, it is the polish I chose to wear the night I got engaged and my nails looked gorgeous. It looked so great with the ring on it. If, if you're looking for a great polish, I highly recommend KL Polish. They're fabulous. All right, next let's move on to face favorites. I'm trying to go quickly just because I have a lot of favorites and I don't want this to be a forever long video. Um, so first we'll start with primer. My favorite primer I tried out this year is the Stila One Step Correct. And it is like so soothing, so hydrating, but it just evens everything out. And a little bit goes a long way. I've had this, I date all of my liquid products so I know uh, when to toss them. And I've had this since June and I'm only halfway through, so six months. Um, I think that's pretty good. And then my favorite foundation I've discovered this year is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid, which I am in the shade Cashmere 06. And I just love how it mixes and plays with other products. I love how it sits on my skin. And I love how it wears, how it has a nice natural matte finish, but you can make it dewy if you want to mix something in with it. And it, it's just a great foundation. Like, I've tried a few high-end foundations, not that many, but a few. And so far, this is my favorite out of all of them. Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I hated that one. I have really dry skin, and it's supposed to be great for dry skin. And then, <laughs> setting powders I discovered this year was the NYX HD Banana Powder. I love this for setting and brightening the under eye and not giving flashback because it has zero SPF and it's so brightening and lightweight and it doesn't cause any creasing or heaviness. So I love that. And then for a contour, I haven't discovered like a favorite contour this year but I have discovered a favorite contouring method and that is cream contour right here in my hands I have the Anastasia contour cream kit and then the Milani contour and highlight which is like this little stick which I loved for travel on my recent trip to Minnesota it was so handy um, but just cream contour in general has become a staple in my routine I do it almost every time 
it looks so natural and effortless and it just creates this like shadow that melts into your skin and looks like it's part of your skin and you're just chiseled that way. So much more so than powder contour. I love it. And even though I haven't been wearing bronzer for the past couple months, my favorite bronzer of the year, and you can tell by just looking at the pan how I've abused it, is the Fair Minerals Invisible Bronze in fair to light. It is such like a natural neutral tone that is so flattering on fair to light skin tones. It's not too orangey. When you blend it out, it just looks like you're sun-kissed, but I definitely wouldn't use it to contour. Uh, it does not create a shadow. It is not cool toned but it will tan you up and warm you up. But right now, it would look ridiculous on me. <laughs> I don't know, I just think bronzer on, on my skin in the winter just looks like I'm trying too hard. And my favorite blushes this year have been my Lorac blushes. I got the Beauty and the Beast palette and then a single in Aura and they are so pigmented, so blendable, so long wearing. I mean, what else is there to say? That's all you want in a blush, right? Right? And then um, my favorite highlight that I discovered this year is my birthday present from Urban Decay, the Urban Decay Sin Highlighter. It is just the perfect like tone of golden champagne for my skin like Mary Lou just looked yellow and weird on me the cult classic Mary Lou I thought I was gonna love that but then I got sin and I was like oh this is what it's supposed to look like this is how beautiful I'm supposed to feel wearing it and it just all made sense so since I'm doing a pretty darn good job of rushing through, we're on the last favorite for the face, and I, whoops, forgot to grab it. I would have to say it's just setting spray in general. I have been a high school cheerleader, a collegiate cheerleader, and that was back in the day before cosmetic setting spray was a big deal and widely available. And I just used hairspray to set my face. And I was like, no way some water in a bottle is gonna be hairspray performance wise if I wanna go all night all over my face. And then I bought a setting spray and tested it out by doing a semi underwater photo shoot. And my face stayed put and I was blown away. I haven't found a favorite setting spray yet. Right here I have a mini of the all nighter and then the Milani Make It Last. I don't have a favorite setting spray yet, but I just love setting spray. Oh my God, it's changed my world because it doesn't feel like sticky and heavy and gross like hairspray, but I know it's gonna do the same thing and it's gonna get my makeup through just as well as hairspray would at a double header basketball game. You know what I mean. Like, if you have ever either played in a doubleheader basketball game or cheered at a doubleheader basketball game, it is hot, it is sweaty, like, you need super glue on your face to keep it in place. So, game changer. All right, so now we're moving on to one of my favorites, eyes. And I've collected so many palettes over this year, even this past month, honestly, it's, it's a little bad, uh, <laughs> that I couldn't narrow it down to like what my top palettes were for this year. But I did take the Ciate Pretty Fun Fearless palette and customize it. And it is definitely my most used and abused palette this year, if you can't tell. Um, it just has browns and golds and purples and like those are my go-to colors if you can't tell from the purple on my eye like I'm all about that life um, so all of these shimmers 
here, here, and here. I took out, I popped out the originals and I replaced them with Urban Decay and Bare Mineral Singles uh, that I had depotted from other palettes that I had like partially decluttered because I like some shades and like others. But the shimmers in this Ciate palette were just so awful and these ones now are just so good. So it makes me want to use the palette so much more because the mattes are amazing and I love the color selection, the whole like brown and gold and then purple. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of my ideal mixture, gold and purple. Maybe it's because I'm a UW Huskies fan, I don't know, but I love that custom palette and I highly recommend if you have a palette that you love, but there are just a few shadows that you don't love in it and it makes you not reach for it as much, pop those out and replace them with some singles that you do love and make it your perfect palette. Make it the palette you wanna reach for all the time because you know, makeup expires, you, you want to use it. Come on. All right, and the single shadows that have blown my mind this year, and these are a recent find as of Black Friday, are the Butter London Glazing Eye Glosses. They are so fabulous. The texture is so weird. It's like this jelly consistency. This jelly consistency but it's so long lasting like I wore one of these I did a halo eye the night I got engaged and I wore one of these in the center of my eye and I was crying and it stayed put if they are so vibrant so metallic so long wearing obsessed okay and then my favorite uh, pencil slash stick is the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop Stick Evolver. It's this really pretty um, peachy champagne color. It's really metallic. And there's just something about this formula that just feels so smooth and so cooling and I don't know. I have other shadow sticks and this is it just stands out. I got it to use on my sister for her wedding makeup because I think it's just such a bridal color. It's so beautiful and it's like she's in her 30s so her lids are starting to age a little bit and this smooths on so evenly over her drier um, slightly wrinkled, I mean she's early 30s, she doesn't have super wrinkly lids, don't get me wrong, but she's starting to get a little like looser lids than she did like 10 years ago. Uh, so this just smooths on so beautifully, doesn't tug, it's so great. I highly, I mean it's, it's worth the price tag. Highly recommend. For mascara, my new discovery this year was the Lash Sensational. Um, it's hard for me to find mascaras that don't irritate my eyes, don't flake off into my contacts, um, don't smudge, lengthen, separate. Like, I could do without volume because to me volume easily turns into clumpy, but I want length and separation. And the Maybelline Lash Sensational does all of that and it has a spiky ass wand which I love. I hate those bristly wands that feel like you're taking a bristle brush through your lashes and poking your I don't know I like this separated plastic and this formula is just so great for the price like I still love my all-time favorite lash domination more but it's a lot more money and it's not a new discovery. Like, I've been loving this for several years now. This is new to me this year and I'm so glad I tried it out and I definitely will keep this in my collection for a long, long time. And the last thing with eyes 
that is a favorite this year is not brand specific just like with the face where I was like cream contour but didn't have a specific brand that was a favorite yet um, it's glitter glue I've tried the elf glitter glue I've tried the NYX glitter glue which is what I have right here and I don't really see a huge difference uh, I'm kind of thinking I like the elf one a little bit better actually and it's a little bit cheaper so that's awesome um, but it just changed the game. If you use it on your shimmer shadows, not even just for glitter, but for your shimmer shadows, it just steps it up that extra notch and really, it's, it's like wetting your brush, but even better. Uh, so less messy, you don't get the pan wet, like, I don't know. It, it, it changed the game and Everybody should have a glitter glue in their collection. Just everybody. All right, and the last category of my favorites of 2017 is lips. And we're just gonna touch on two categories within that, um, lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. So my favorite lipsticks this year have definitely been the Lorac Alter Ego Lipsticks. Um, this one is Trendsetter, which is a really pretty nude. Oh my gosh, they smell delicious. They go on so smooth. They're so opaque. I just, I mean, can you tell I love Lorac lipsticks? Okay, these four are Urban Decay, but the rest are Lorac. <laughs> and I just discovered them this year. So uh, I've become a big fan pretty quickly. And uh, I would say the nudes, the bolds, all of them, all the way around are great. They are worth the money and you can always find them on sale, especially the holiday sets. Like these ones I know are all on sale at Ulta and Kohl's right now. You can get like five lipsticks for $20 in different family shades, like pinky ones, rosy ones. So I, I got a couple of them and I kept the ones I liked in those collections and I gave the others to friends and I feel like it was worth it because I still have six, eight new beautiful lipsticks to play with, but oh my gosh, they're, they're so good. Like I thought I knew good when I had my Urban Decay Vices. I got those last year, but then I tried Lorac this year and it just, whew. I mean, compared to that, 714 tugs at the lips, feels so drying. 714 is an Urban Decay Manga Matte, by the way, which is probably why it tugs at the lips and feels so drying. But yeah, I don't know. I could go on and on about how much I love Lorac lipstick. And then for liquid lipstick, I've tried many, many this year. This year was the first year I tried liquid lipstick, period. And I've tried many, I've gotten samples like the lip favorite kits from Sephora and I keep discovering my new favorite, discovery of my new favorite because I keep trying so many. And as of the end of the year, my new favorite for 2017 is Dose of Colors. The formula is just so comfortable, like it's not drying or tight in any way but it's still transfer resistant and still pretty long wearing. I don't mind if I have to carry it in my purse and reapply a couple of times like after I eat or you know do something. That doesn't bother me. I carry a purse anyway so no big deal. Uh, but they just feel so good. Like so many liquid lipsticks just ugh, yuck. Uh, and this is the most comfortable but also longest lasting at the same time that I have tried. Like the Gen Nudes by Bare Mineral disappear so fast. They're comfortable but they disappear and this hangs around. I'm wearing a Lazy Daisy right now from their limited edition winter 
set uh, the snuggle is real that name got to me I had to get it and I kept two of the shades from this set the snuggle is real and warm and fuzzy and now I feel like I have to get so many more dose of colors liquid lipsticks because based on these two yeah <laughs> So those are my beauty favorites, uh, not including hair, because that's a whole nother thing. I mean, can you tell I'm kind of high maintenance with my hair? I'm rocking the silver right now. Uh, but those are my 2017 new discovery beauty favorites. And I would love to hear what your favorites are down below. Sister, stop calling me, I'll call you back. <laughs> no, that's really my sister, I don't just call people sister. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and I will see you next time, bye.